What's up, Trade Hackers? Welcome to today's update. Today's Thursday, August 27th. So kind of a wild ride in the markets. Uh, the markets pre-market were, were down. They were set to open a little bit down on the day. And then Federal Reserve Chairman Jerome Powell was given a talk. And whatever he said kind of spiked the markets up right before the market opened. And then they kind of come down. And it was just up and down, up and down, up and down. And then in the late afternoon, it looked like it was going to get some legs to the downside, and nope, it just rallied back up. So a little bit of a wild swing. Now, if we look at this on a daily chart, it's not near as dramatic. In fact, the, the range looks pretty small. We're just kind of looks like we're just grinding back up to new all-time highs. Once again, in the S&P, uh, the Dow up. Uh, 243 points, NASDAQ actually down, so tech being a little bit weak today, and then the Russell up a little bit as well. Now, what's interesting is even with the market up, look at the VIX. The VIX is up over 2.5%. So if we look at the VIX futures, you can see when the market was down, it, they were up significantly. I mean, the, the VIX futures almost hit 30, and they've retraced almost their entire move. If we look at if we look at the VIX moves on an intraday basis, looking at a five minute chart, let me zoom in here for you. You can kind of see what a wild ride that was. I mean, VIX really spiked up. It looked like there was gonna be some potential continuation to the downside in stocks, but instead it just contracted and back to uphill grind as usual. Uh, but the, so the VIX futures up two and a half percent. If we look at the spot VIX, uh, spot VIX is ac actually up over uh, four, about four and a half percent. So very similar pattern, but a little more uh, accentuated to the upside. So interesting stuff today. So what did we do? Well, a couple things. One, we had a, let me go back to a daily chart here. We had a trade that we put on a few days ago in bonds. So just look at a chart of TLT. Oops, TLT. And, uh, and we put this on as, as price was kind of pushing higher here. We got short bonds and today paid off nicely. So big move down in bonds with the Fed's talk about what they're doing with potential uh, trying to, uh, you know, fight inflation and, and, and uh, the uh, additional stimulus and so forth. So bond market did not like that so fell and that was a big benefit for us. Uh, another thing that we did is we added some additional short delta in IWM, uh, this is the small cap index, and we we basically did one of our portfolio bunker trades, where if this thing does go higher, there, we just have a tiny bit to lose, but we have a massive uh, potential if this thing does in fact drop. So we got uh, just add a little bit of short delta to our portfolio, uh, and then on the day trades, uh, we we've been streaming live every morning, and so some good day trading today. Had a winner in Apple, uh, basically a scratch trade in AMD. Now in Boeing and beyond, I this, these were test trades, so these were not part of our typical Mighty 90 strategy that we were, we're testing kind of a continuation pattern. Uh, in this case, Boeing was a loser and beyond was a nice winner. So uh, one winner, one loser, and then the rest of these were Mighty 90. So 110 in BABA, $100 in Microsoft, 235 in Netflix, uh, 33, basically a scratch and win, and then a little loser in Zoom. So about a 450-day winner overall. And uh, so that's been good. Uh, the other thing I wanted to mention, a couple earnings trades, uh, excuse me, earnings announcements. We did not place trades. They just didn't quite set up. But after the market closes today, Ulta, the beauty care company, announces earnings. And OKTA also announces after the bell. So we'll be watching these uh, for potential post-earnings trade, no overnight trades in those. If we take a look at some of the notable stocks that we watch, I mean, it's kind of a mixed bag here. I mean, we've got stocks like Adobe down 3%, uh, Amazon down a little bit, uh, the banks up uh, with, with bonds going down, banks are up. Uh, Boeing was up significantly. Uh, now it's only up 2%. Uh, I mentioned Beyond. Beyond got an upgrade by one of the agencies, and it was up quite a bit more, and it's retraced about half of those gains. Uh, like I said, the financials are up. Uh, if we look at some of the other tech stocks, interesting, you know, Netflix was up like 10% yesterday, and Netflix is 
uh, down 4% today. So big swings there. Uh, whereas Microsoft's up. So no, no, no correlation with tech. I mean, some tech are up, some tech are down. And so really just kind of a mixed bag here. Of course, you can't hold Tesla down up another 4%, uh, going into their stock split, which is on August 31st. So if you do have shares of Tesla for every one share, you are going to get five shares and that's going to drop that, uh, the price of Tesla into a fifth of what it is at the, at the time of the split. So look for that at the, uh, early next week, everybody have a great evening and we'll talk to you next time. See ya.